Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. This is StarMed Compact Tutorials, and today we will go through the Extended Range Cannon, or Sniper Cannon, or as I like to call it, Gauss Cannon. This cannon has much slower reload speed, but also damage much more per shot. The range of the cannon is the second most long-range weapon in the game. It does depend on the server settings, but with my settings, I think it's the default, the range is 6000 meters. 6 kilometers. Why having Gauss cannons on your long range builds? Well, because of this. The sniper missiles, the most long range weapon system in the game, is easily shot down with anti missile turrets. None of them hit. But with this system, it's a hit. Well, let's start building and long-range blasting. The main system is the cannon computer. You will need to place this down in the direction you want to fire, 90% of the cases, forward, with the arrow forward. Then you can start spawning your weapon systems, as many groups as you like. After you've done this, you take the damage beam computer and place it anywhere. Now, to make the full effect 100% support, you will need to spawn as many beam modules as cannon modules. Now, select the cannon computer and hook up the beam computer using C and V buttons, or if you have it mapped to somewhere else on your keyboard, you can check out your key bindings. If we now go inside the weapons menu, you can drag down your system here. Look at the details and you can look at one of the units. You see this does 800 damage. This might be not correct. But uh, the range is, you see, the maximum of this weapon. The second most long range weapon in the game. Naturally, you want to have an effect on your weapon. For the Dragoon Mark III, I have chosen explosive, but this will depend on your utilities. These are however my recommendations. If your weapon system's size is limited but you want to boost the damage radically, you can use the overdrive effect as your choice of effect. That will radically increase energy consumption but also increase weapon damage. However, if you like it to destroy armor easily, the piercing effect is great for this thing. If you're facing big targets, either the punch through effect module or the piercing effect is very good to make deep damage on your target. If you, however, are facing targets like, for example, other fighters or smaller ships, the explosive effect is great as it deals damage around the shot and can destroy systems locally at the point of hit. To connect a system like this up, select the main computer, the cannon computer, select your system of choice and spawn as many as the main systems to get 100% support. Less percent support is also possible, but then you will guess less of the effect, which can be preferable at some times. So in conclusion, if you want to have the extra edge over armor, choose the piercing effect. If you have loads of energy, but limited size, like if you use this system on turrets, overdrive is great. If you want to create local damage on other fighter, explosive is your choice. But for this time to deal deep and savage damage to the systems, we will go with the punch through effect. Have the main computer selected and hook up the system of choice. Now we go here and I show you the effects. One shot. And here you have it, some savage penetration. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial indeed. And I hope I will see you in future videos. Here you have the same with explosive effect, just to give you the difference. And you can understand why this deals good local damage. Explosive. 
Anyways, thank you very much for watching, leave a like if you liked it, and keep yourself updated for coming tutorials. Jimmy Dism Total Nerdy Channel, thank you for watching.